Hi, good evening. I'm Dr. Sridhar Kalyanasandaram. In the earlier video, we had seen about non-nutritive sucking. And in this video, we'll see another important topic related to feeding in premature babies, which is trophic feeds. So trophic feeds are defined as minimal volumes of milk feeds, 10 to 15 ml per kilo per day. It's not intended as it's a small volume. The intention is not to act as a significant source of nutrition at this stage. The main uh, function, as the name suggests, is trophic. That is to have a stimulating effect on the gut growth, maturation, and improvement in production of secretions, as well as the motility of the gut. Uh, how long you give the trophic feeds is variable depending on the situation of the baby. It can be one day, it can be a few days. It's basically given till you feel the baby is ready for advancing feeds. So what should we give as trophic feeds? As far as possible, start with the express breast milk, the colostrum in the first few days. Significant benefits which cannot be given by any other milk. And there are studies which show significantly less inflammation in the gut of preemie piglets uh, who are fed express milk compared to formula milk. So avoiding formula at the very start for 24 to 48 hours might be of benefit. But uh, beyond that, the disadvantage of uh, giving longer TP and all the time taken to establish the feeds will be longer. So that will start outweighing. So we have to discuss if there is no maternal or donor milk by 24 to 48 hours, consider formula milk for the trophic feeds. And of course, uh, it's very important to have measures to improve the express milk output very early. So start in the antenatal period and you know a mother is likely to deliver preterm some centers, especially Australia, they stimulate the breast even before the delivery and some mothers have express milk ready when the baby comes. Uh, what are the benefits of early introduction of trophic feeds compared to fasting had a non-significant trend towards reaching full feeds earlier. There is no significant difference between formula milk or express breast milk, but there is not adequate data. There's no clear evidence on when to progress to nutritional feeds, but the aim is to progress at the earliest possible. So in the babies, 1000 grams and above, we aim to reach full feeds by seven days or so. And in the babies who are below 1000 grams, 10 to 14 days as a range. Obviously, uh, some babies reach by that target, some need a little longer and we have to adapt to the baby's condition. So this is the important point. Uh, if you are not having enough colostrum for trophic feeds, you can do colostrum care, just the application of colostrum in the mouth and we can start that even in a sick baby. Is there any contraindication for trophic feeds? So we withhold trophic feeds where there is intestinal obstruction or a setting for intestinal obstruction or ileus and exercise caution in settings of asphyxia or hypotension, which is severe enough to need inotropes. However, these are not contraindications. Once it starts improving, you can start the trophic feeds. These are relative uh, use of umbilical lines, blood glucose fluctuations, need for ventilation, sepsis, respiratory distress. These are not contraindications. So you can give trophic feeds. And that is the idea. These babies are sick to progress with the feeds, but you want to keep their gut maintained when they are unwell for other reasons. So you want to start trophic feeds actually in these babies. How do we give the trophic feeds? So encourage express breast milk. We calculate 10 to 15 ml per kilo per day. For example, a one kilo baby would receive 10 to 15 ml for 24 hours. A 700 gram baby would receive 7 to 10 ml in 24 hours. So we can give it as two to three hourly feeds as per the unit policy. When they are getting small feeds, it's better to give it three hourly to save the nursing time because it doesn't give a big volume to the stomach. Once it starts crossing half feeds, if a baby is small or if the baby is on significant breathing support non-invasively, I normally shift them to two hourly feeds so that the volume in the stomach at any particular stage is not high in case the reflux may play a role. So uh, I hope uh, this information is useful to you and do share.